So today is going to be a little different. I'm going to go out and check ice. I did a little bit of open water fishing yesterday. No success. Didn't surprise me at all. Got a lot of rain yesterday. And it's been warm the last week. We had roughly six, seven inches of ice. Today I'm going to go out and check a couple places and hopefully get on some good ice still. Because we do. Today is going to be all about trying to use this thing and catch some little guys with it. Got this, uh, I don't know, three years ago, I think, from my cousin. And uh, we've been wanting to take them out and use them. We actually got them to try to catch walleye on when we went to South Dakota. But, coincidentally enough, we both forgot them at home on our trip. And then I completely forgot about it and I found it packed away in one of my uh, rod lockers. So hopefully I get on some good ice so I can uh, take this out and hopefully catch some fish on it. But uh, I think it's strung with um, one pound test, I believe. And it's got an extremely small jig on it here, which I can get it out and show you. There it is, that little guy. So, uh, yeah. There should be some fun times today, hopefully, if I can get find some safe ice and get on. I have a good feeling the edges are gonna be really soft, but time will tell, and hopefully, uh, you see me on the ice. Try out some of these uh, fake waxies here. Hopefully, my hook's not too small. If it is, I might just have to uh, pinch some of it off. All right, I gotta get my shack set up. Everything's freezing up out here on me. Holes actually starting to freeze over. As you can tell, I had to set my hut up. Hole is freezing up, a little too brisk. So we're gonna try this again. Now I don't have to worry about my gloves. Drop her down and uh, see what we can do. Oh, here comes the fish already. There he is. Got one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I got my bait too. Whoops. My bad. Sorry, little guy. Fishing lines wrapped all up in them. First little guy in that little pool. Alright, goodbye. 
Now well, I hope I don't get a big tangle up mess. All right, need more bait. I really couldn't imagine catching a walleye on this thing. So used to feeling the bite in the rod. This one you can't feel it at all. You really, really gotta watch that spring bobber. There he is. Oh yeah, come on. Let's actually try the full reel here. Oh, Mopey's still on. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is such a good time. Oh yeah. Another little guy. Yum. Don't worry, we're not going to eat any guys today. Second little guy. <laughs> Say bye. Goodbye. All right, let's drop her back down again. Oh, it comes some more. Got him. Get the little reel on. Woo! <laughs> guess it's the only good thing about a really really small jig Come on. you can catch the little guys like that really fun you know that's what I was bringing my daughter out for to catch stuff like this just to get her out in the ice and have some fun but that's kind of a bad experience for her but on the plus side she does want to go back out she gets mad when she finds out that I've been going out without her and so I'm very very grateful for that that she's not scared to come back out and try it again I was extremely nervous about that I mean I would be too I mean Five years old, step in a 10 inch hole, drop down to your waist. I gotta pick her up, run her back to the truck, get the truck running, get her nice and warm, get all her wet clothes off of her, come back down, grab all my stuff. I mean, you've already seen the video where you can tell she was having fun for the most part, eating chips. Probably hear that when she's doing that. There's loud crunching. I'm gonna give these guys one more shot with these and then I'm gonna switch to a small plastic jig just to see if it's gonna make a difference today on the bite. I got a really, really small plastic jig that would actually work perfect on this little jig head. Oh, my bad. Dang it. Oh, I might mess this up. I'm going to have to pull that all out. Backlash her. There we go. Oh, did I get him? Did I miss him? Oh, I got him. Ooh, feisty little guy. That's a nice little guy. It's actually a lot of fun with this little little rod. As long as you remember to put your finger on the spool so you don't backlash it like I did, like a idiot. <laughs> All right, let's send her back down and see what happens. Try 
drop down in there further to see what happens. Right there. There he is. Oh, did I get him? Did I lose him? Nope, still on. Well, maybe. Yep, he's still there. Feisty little guy. Feisty. This is a really pretty one. Really pretty. I don't know if you can tell with all the coloring. Really pretty. Did you get my bait? No, nope, we're still good. When that one disappears, I'm gonna put on that really, really small, soft plastic I got. There he is. Ooh, this one feels a little heavier. I don't know why he's still there. <laughs> Ooh, he's a nice little guy. Whoopsie. Where'd you go? You're way out there. Another really pretty one. One thing I can say about this place, it does have a pretty good healthy population. And uh, they're thick. Like, even though they're small, they're pretty thick. I mean, I've caught some pretty decent ones out of here a long time ago. I don't usually fish here much, but I figured I'd go somewhere where I know I can possibly catch some fish for uh, my daughter and that. And then I was also really nervous about the ice is right now. Oh, there's some suspended. What is that? Fish? Let's see. Eh, not coming in. I'm gonna drop further. I'll go right there. Oh, they're coming in hot already. Forgot what I was talking about. Typical me. Oh, I remember now. Mostly came here because it's close to home and I don't want to travel too far today because I only got till about 11 or so. I'm going to go home and do a few things at home. I didn't even know how good... Oh, dang, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't even know how good the ice was going to be. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to get on. And then when I came down here, I forgot the board in the back of my truck just so I can uh, possibly get on a safe ice if the edges were bad. But uh, there he is. I still got him. I think I lost him. But the edges were actually surprisingly still good. I was really shocked on that. I was able to walk on, spud my way out. And now I'm on top of some fish. It's kind of nice. I think I did get him though. Yes. Oh, there he came off. Oh, I still got the bait, surprisingly. All right, drop it back down. It's actually kind of enjoyable fishing with this little rod. Something different. It gets kind of frustrating, but it's fun. Oh, 
There he is. Oh, did I get him? Yep, still got the little guy. Maybe, yep. Problem is, it's so hard to tell if they're on or not sometimes. Oh, he's fast. That was a nice little guy. Sad part is I know people that keep these little guys. God, there's a bunch of spent fish. I wonder what those are. I know, crappie, 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 but this place isn't stocked with crappie, and I hate to say it, but like, I don't know, three or four years ago, I actually caught a crappie out of here. One friend didn't believe me. I took a picture of it and sent it to him. He goes, there's no way you caught a crappie out of I'm like, well, this is what I caught, and it's definitely a crappie. It's only about seven inches. I mean, he's a small guy, but no idea how it got in here. Drop her in the weeds a little bit. Let's go down here. Oh, there's a guy right there in the bottom. So one thing though, when you're fighting one of these guys, if you accidentally let go, I'm pretty sure this rod's gone down the hole. Like bloop. This one is. This might be a little bass. Oof. No, just a nice little bluegill or sunfish, pumpkin seed. Oh yeah, not a nice little guy. And yeah, he's got my little waxy, so it's a. Uh, Time to try. Holy cow. So I don't know if you can see that very well. That's all I'm going to use. Oh, I got him that time though. Oh yeah. That's a pretty little guy. Still got my plastic. Oh, it comes another guy right away. Let's see what happens with him. Jigging, jigging, jigging. Wow, he came in the past. Look, he came right back. Oh, he hit twice. Missed him twice. Didn't miss him that time. Third time's a charm. Ooh. He is fast. Almost got my soft plastic. Missed him. Oh, I think I got him. Maybe. Yep, got him. Ooh. 
feisty. Got my soft plastic, but it's all right. I got more. Got him. He's still there? Yep, still there. About the same size I've been pulling up most of the day. Got him too. Woo. Yeah, I can't have a tip out that far. Definitely a bunch of little guys, but it's fun. It'd be a great place to bring my daughter back to. I see you. Yep, you didn't want it. No, but he did. Oh, about lost the pole there. Another little, little guy. Bye. Got that little guy. The little guy. Or girl. Sorry. I can't choose their identity for them. Should I get him? Yes, I did. On the jitterbug. Another really small guy. Really pretty though. Oh, I got him. Ooh. Fell 
little heavier. Ooh, definitely heavier. This might be a bass. Ooh. Come on. Nope. Just another gill. Felt a lot heavier. A little bit bigger. Whoop. Sorry, buddy. There's a bunch of fish coming in again. Coming in hot. There he is. My little guy. Ooh. Maybe not so little. Mm, he's still little, but better than the last few I've been catching. That pretty little guy. He's still there. Ooh. Probably should have wiped my hands off better about lost the rod there. Ooh, it's a nice one. Definitely bigger. Got him. Ooh. I feel a lot heavier. Might be a decent gill. Oh yeah. There's a decent one. Not the biggest, but still a lot of fun. All right, my cousin got it for me a few years ago. They're only like I think seven dollars at Tyson's, and now I think they're like twenty, which is insane. Because no offense, there's no way I would spend twenty dollars on this thing. I mean, they call it a pocket something. I can't remember pocket rod and reel combo thing. Got like one pound test. It came with the itty bitty gold jig head. And I just put my own soft plastic on it. And then, uh, it's like your old school ones, tighten that down for your drag. I just free spool it and then hold it, set the hook to catch them, reel it in. But otherwise, I'm gonna call this kind of a success with this. It was a pretty good day. Caught quite a few little bluegills nothing special um i do have to get going unfortunately so this is going to be the end of it and we'll see you next time and by next time it's probably going to be open water maybe on the kayak not for sure yet i'm supposed to go out tomorrow on the kayak when we get all this rain so that kind of hindered us for that because the river came up water is really really muddy bunch of ice chunks coming down don't feel like hitting those in the kayak so I think uh, that might be a couple weeks yet before we can actually get the kayaks back out or even the boat that matter but until then 
hopefully I get some more content for you guys to watch. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And have a good day.